Hey there, curious minds. Ready to unlock the secrets of our amazing world? Let's get started. Okay, detective. Here's our first case. Why does a giant log float while a tiny pebble sinks? Let's look for clues. Our first clue is that everything is made of tiny pieces called molecules. Some things have them packed together and some don't. You might think it's just about how big something is, but that's not true. Something big can be light and something small can be heavy. Now the real secret is how much stuff is squished into a space. We call our main suspect density. Density is the measure of how much mass, or stuff, is packed into a certain volume, or space. Let's investigate our pebble. See? Its molecules are packed super tightly, which gives it a high density. But the log's molecules are more spread out. With more empty space, it has a lower density. Interesting. And here's the scene of the crime. Water. Our mission is to see which of our suspects is denser than water. The pebble is denser than water, so when we drop it in, case closed, it sinks right to the bottom. But the log is less dense than the water, so it bobs right on top. It floats. We can even use this to solve the case of the submarine. It takes in water to become denser so it can dive. This works in air too. A hot air balloon floats because the hot air inside is less dense than the cooler air around it. We can even see density with liquids. Honey is densest so it's on the bottom, and oil is the least dense so it floats on top. You've done it, detective. You've cracked the case. You know it's not size or weight, but how tightly packed the molecules are. So keep your detective eyes open. The secret of density is everywhere, just waiting for you to solve the next mystery. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to Tender Intellects for more such fun videos.